Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video for the Superlemon WhatsApp app. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the manual messaging feature or specifically how to send manual abandoned cards to your customers via WhatsApp. Uh, so the feature page is here and uh, as you can see, there are three tabs. We are going to go through them right after this part. Uh, you'll be able to see all your abandoned cards here except the ones that don't have a phone number. Uh, because you can't send a message to a abandoned card without, uh, you can't send a WhatsApp message without a phone number, so we automatically exclude it. You'll see details about the aban abandoned checkout, and you'll see something called tags, message one and message two. Message one and message two are two message templates, which if you click on the send message button, the message template will be automatically loaded into your WhatsApp. All you have to do is hit send. And uh, we only recommend uh, two messages because sending too many messages might uh, trigger WhatsApp's spam detection AI. Uh, we strongly recommend that you adhere to the guidelines that are mentioned in the app. This is to help you uh, avoid any spam detection AI flags which might lead in a ban of your WhatsApp, uh, phone number. All right, let's go back. Let's look at the message template. As you can see, this message template has been crafted using variables. All these variables data is automatically fetched and replaced for each checkout based on the data for that checkout. Uh, we are using first name, discount, checkout URL, first name again. Uh, this checkbox automatically adds a discount code to this URL, which the customer can uh, avail by just clicking on the link. They don't need to apply the code separately. All right. Let's try to send a message. There you go. As you can see, the customer contact has been loaded. The entire message has been loaded. And all I have to do is click on enter and the message gets sent. Let's go back and see what happened. So when you click on send message for the first time, this message becomes sent. This is a way for you to track which messages you might have sent. But sometimes uh, the message might not get sent because the phone number might be incorrect. So let's just quickly click this and go back. As you can see, message one sent tag got added. But suppose that number was incorrect and you were not able to send the message. You can simply add a tag called some, you can name your own tag. I already have one called number not on WhatsApp. This helps you see easily filter out which numbers that were not on WhatsApp and later check why you couldn't send a message for them. You can see which messages were successfully sent and then even further filter by recovery status. All right. Uh, after you have sent messages, you would want to see analytics. Analytics tells you how many messages were uh, have the sent status and how many cards were recovered and how much card value you have recovered in that time period. You can select the following time periods. We have data up till the last 90 days uh, and you can see a graph of recovered cards uh, through time. There is one more tab here called settings. Uh, this allows you to switch uh, from WhatsApp web to WhatsApp desktop app. You might have noticed that WhatsApp web takes around five seconds to load. So you can use WhatsApp desktop application, uh, instructions for which are available here. Uh, and this will let you send messages faster. In fact, it might take up to only three seconds for the message to get loaded inside WhatsApp desktop app. However, this feature has a problem where uh, Windows OS users, especially Windows 10, there is a bug in the WhatsApp app itself because of which this feature doesn't work. Uh, it does work perfectly on Mac, but not on Windows. If you are affected and you are using Windows, the only remedy is for you to use our app on your mobile phone. How you can do that is open our app on your mobile phone browser by going to app.superlemon.xyz, log in with your My Shopify URL, and then you can send messages from your phone. Uh, in fact, I'll just give you a preview of how it looks. This is how it will look when you open the same feature on your mobile phone. All you have to do is click on send button and it will open the same message inside your WhatsApp 
mobile app that makes it much much faster to send messages all right let's proceed and show you how the order crm works the order crm is meant for use if you want to send messages to people who have placed an order on your site so the typical messages that get sent are thank you for your order an order confirmation message basically and a delivery tracking message that is sent when you have fulfilled your order you can configure multiple message templates as many as you want or edit the existing templates i recommend editing them uh, and then after you have edited a template there you go you can use a bunch of tracking urls and uh, other variables which you can insert into this uh, message let's see order status url order items and hit save in order crm when you click on send message it simply asks you which message template you want to send and when i click on send it will open inside whatsapp web or whatsapp desktop app in the exact same way as the abandoned cart feature works uh, you can add tags here too like order confirmation sent and later filter by uh, tags you can also use payment status to filter out orders where there has been a payment or they have not been paid pending or paid you can even filter orders by fulfillment status so you might want to see orders that have been fulfilled and to the fulfilled orders you would want to send an order fulfillment message let's see order fulfillment save so now when i click on send message and i click on order fulfillment it will fetch all the details that you have given to shopify uh, and included in the message let's try it once there you go as you can see the entire template including the in this case it's a test order but this will have the actual order tracking uh, id and the order tracking url that's it uh, that's all you need to know about sending messages uh, manual messages through the super lemon whatsapp app if you have any questions feel free to drop us a message on the email support and we will help you out have a good day